Welcome to an overview of the online registration changes in School Insight. We'll start by looking at the parent view. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a shelf with all the steps for each student. Here are the steps for the first student. Here are the steps for the second student. Any steps that have been completed will show with a green check mark. Any that have yet to be completed are left unchecked. To complete registration, simply navigate through the steps, look at all the data, verify that it's correct, and make any changes or enter any new information. Once the step looks good, you can go ahead and mark it complete. If you have work still to do on this step but want to continue to the other portions of online registration, you can simply mark it save only and come back at a later time. Since everything here looks good, we'll go ahead and mark this complete. On the Parent tab, you have the ability to enter some basic information about the parents. Note that you're unable to add or remove custodial contacts as part of online registration. This can only be done by school admin. So if some are missing or you need someone removed, you'll have to contact the school directly. But we do have the ability to update the address and phone number for each of the custodial contacts. If you need to add an additional phone number, you can use the blue plus, select the type of number it is, and enter the number. You then have the option to resort the numbers to reflect a particular call preference. When everything looks good, go ahead and mark it complete. On the Emergency Contacts tab, you can remove contacts by clicking on the trash can or add new ones with the Add Emergency Contact button. Everything looks good here, so we'll mark that complete. And then you may see some more school-specific fields that you'll need to update. And you may also see a step that looks similar to this, where the school simply wants me to download um, a particular file or navigate to a new website. Since there's nothing for the parent to update on these pages, there's no save button and the checkbox will remain unchecked. That's not a concern for steps like that. When you get to the end, you can go ahead and click Submit Student Data and then work on any other students in the family. Since I've already completed the second student, I can come down to the finalized step. The school has a couple of family-wide steps that I need to complete, such as pay fees. They also might ask you to complete a free and reduced lunch application as part of registration. It just depends on how it's set up. Either way, you can just go ahead and continue through the different steps. I can see the fees, for example, here, add any optional fees I'd like to add, click Continue, and actually enter my credit card information right from here. Or if I prefer to pay in cash and check and the school allows it, you can come back to the main fees page and actually print off a copy of the fees you wish to pay. And now with the fees paid, I can go down to the final step and see that registration is complete. Heading up to the admin side, we can look at how registration is built from registration process. One of the first things you'll likely notice is that in the older version of online registration, all of the different parts of the form were separate tabs within a single form. So you'd have one tab for student information, another for family, another for emergency contacts, but they would all be part of one form. In the new version, we've separated them out so that they're each their own step on the overall registration process. And this creates a more consistent view or a more consistent structure that makes online registration easier to manage. The preview has been moved down to the bottom and we've added a contact preview in addition to student view. And the contact preview is particularly helpful because it's going to give you a better look at what the parents are actually going to see when they log in. So when I select Melissa, you'll see I can actually see multiple students as if I were logged in as her. Creating additional steps in registration is as easy as it was in the other version. You simply click create, add whatever steps you'd like, click save, and it'll be available. It's also easy to go in and edit any of the forms. Now something we noticed when we were looking at the data 
is that a lot of schools have created detailed and lengthy directions for the parents. And we wanted to put tools in there to better support that. So what we did is we actually separated title and description into two different fields. Now the title is going to show in the shelf, letting the parent know the name of the step. And then once they click on the step, they'll see the full description. One of the things you'll want to do in the setup is actually review the titles because you'll note that there's a character limit here to fit in the shelf. And this one has been automatically shortened to kind of fit. And so we might want to make an adjustment instead of calling this receipt of student handbook for the title, just simply student handbook. And so that's something you'll want to verify as part of your registration setup. For each of the forms, you can click into view and see all the fields that are available to parents or the different pieces of data that we're going to ask them to update. You can just as simply create new ones and all of the same field types are available that were in the old version of online registration. We've also added a new reorder page, which makes it easy to drag and drop fields and adjust the organization of online registration. Now, when parents complete online registration and submit it to the school, by default, those changes are automatically pushed into School Insight and are available on the student record. If you'd prefer to have those changes added to a queue that you can go in and approve, simply go to Options, Edit, and change Automatically Approve Submitted Forms to No. And that'll put all of the submitted forms in a holding position until you go in and actually mark them complete. Even if you do allow the system to automatically update student records once parents submit the form, you always have the opportunity to revert information back to its original state. To do this, simply go to Student Registration Status, locate the student. A lot of times it's easiest if you filter by form status. View the student and click Revert Form Changes. The resulting table is going to show you the student and the fields. You'll see the data that was in the system prior to online registration, and then the updated version of the data next to it. For anything that has changed, you get a toggle, and you can switch between the original or the form version, and changes are saved automatically. But this gives you the control to revert back those automatic changes in the event that parents mistype information or something is wrong with the entered information from the form. So that's an overview of the online registration changes in School Insight. This is the first part of a larger project to overhaul this area of the site. We hope you like these changes and we look forward to sharing some future updates with you. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further updates.